Hello everybody! Welcome back to Desert DIY and if you are new here, my name is Cory. Today I have a quick project for you that cost me zero dollars. I picked up the supplies for this project from somebody's bulk trash, happened to be my mother's bulk trash, but uh, a bulk trash pickup here in Arizona is where we are allowed to put out a bunch of giant items for the garbage men to come pick up uh, about twice a year. Some, sometimes you can do it more, but I think you pay extra for it. But this is the perfect time to go dumpster diving, I guess, in a way. But it's all on people's curbs and displayed. And my mom had a lot of great stuff that I wanted to fix up and show you guys. You guys know how much I love saving money and doing projects that are free or like under $5. So this is definitely a free project. And it might be something that you guys all have the supplies to do already, possibly. Or you could easily get for free from somebody else's, you know, waste that they're going to throw away. But I save these items from the dump, turn it into something beautiful. Let me show you a quick before and after of what it is. So these two pieces are the same supplies. <laughs> Believe it or not, this old chair is adorable. It's already got that white chippy look on it. But the two boards and the uh, bucket there, the galvanized bucket, were going to be thrown away. The bucket had some holes in it, but that's okay. You can still plant something in there as long as you just put something in there to fill the hole, like burlap or something like that before you put in your um, dirt. And it even helps with drainage so that you don't get like soggy pots. <laughs> Anyways, so I took these pieces and the first thing I did was I took the pieces of wood and cut them to a size that was manageable to attach to the chair. So you can see here I'm cutting it with my regular miter saw and it was really easy and quick, something anybody could do. If you don't have a miter saw, it is not going to be as easy of a project because hand sawing pieces of wood that are really old is really tiring because the pieces have already cured and gotten super hard. But if you have the tools or if you could borrow the tools, I highly suggest it. So I cut the pieces and now I'm going to drill them, screw them in into the chair. I didn't put too many screws into it. This is, a, is not a seat you're going to be sitting in. It's just going to be holding a pot of plants. So um, there's also a brace underneath the chair that helps the bucket. If it's too heavy, it'll kind of hold up that weight there. pieces and then I went over and um, started cutting the wood to be the shape of the seat of the chair instead of just being a square or rectangle. And I got really tired Obviously, I am 31 weeks pregnant now, so I'm going to be really tired sometimes. It's just going to happen. So my husband had to step in and use our jigsaw to cut the seat shape out. And since the wood was really hard, like I was saying, it makes a blade kind of jump a bit when you try and turn the blade. So you got to have a really strong hand on it when you're dealing with old savage wood. Once we cut it all out, we took a sander to it and sanded the edges. 
but I decided I wanted to paint it first so that way when I sand it, I'm sanding it and making it look rustic as well as cleaning up the edges at the same time. So you can see that, me doing that here. <laughs> now the flowers that are in here is an arrangement that I got from my sister on the National Sibling Day. Um, she sent me flowers and um, just to cheer me up I guess because I was going through a bit of a hard time. We were foster parents to a wonderful young boy but he ended up moving to live with family which is normal in the foster care system and that's what I used um, for that after picture. And I posted it up for sale. It has not sold yet so I am going to be selling it in an antique market that is coming up. I'm gonna do a booth this year with a friend um, for the like springish summertime. It's already hot by now, but anyways. Um, but yeah, that's how it turned out and I hope it sells. I'm gonna be asking um, between 30 and 40 dollars. Not sure yet which price I'll be asking at the antique market, but that's what I think it's worth. Um, the fact that it has a galvanized bucket makes it worth a little bit more money and the natural aging and the real age of the piece also makes it worth a little more money. So there you go. But I won't be selling it with these flowers in it. It's just going to be sold empty and it's kind of funny because it looks a bit like a toilet <laughs> when it's empty. Not in like a gross way, but just the shape of it is funny like an old outhouse seat or something. I don't know. Either way, with flowers in it, it looks beautiful. So I just want to say thank you all so much for watching my channel. I had a really good time making this project with my husband. It's been hard for me to get projects done lately just because I am very pregnant. I'm in the end of my pregnancy now and it's just, I'm exhausted and sore and <laughs> projects that are tool intensive and um, require a lot of energy are kind of just being put on the back burner. I just need to rest, but <laughs> I want to make sure you guys have some kind of inspiration and I'm going to get projects out for you to see anyways as much as I possibly can and thank you so much for supporting my channel and for keeping things out of the dump and being interested in being creative. I will see you next time and thank you so much again for watching my channel and if you want to see more projects like this don't forget to hit that subscribe button down at the bottom and I will see you next time. Bye!